Hey yeah, um, I've got another box. This one is the Shabby Geek October Terror Box. Obviously, Terror, Halloween, all fits. We're coming up to the end of the month now, so we're getting towards the end of the sort of the, the October British Boxes month. There's a couple more still to come, um, but we shall see what we've got in this one. So. <laughs> This seems to be a running theme this month. Now, I don't know if it's because of the new bag charge, but I'm getting a lot of tote bags. It's not a bad thing. I like the tote bags because hopefully it means that I won't get charged for my shopping. Um, so we've got here Quince. Amity Island. Now, I can't think at the moment what that's a reference to, but it will come to me. Right, uh, oh, right. So we've got some sweeties. Obviously, with it being Halloween for your trick or treat. So there's a lollipop and some Harry Bow mixed them there. Uh, spoiler card. Okay, I'm going to go for this next. So, Fright Night Halloween Characters 4 Pack. So, that's like a... It's not Lego, but it's like Lego figure styles. Lego style figures. Um, all with different little faces on. Now, that's not of any use to me, really. Um, I might give it to the niece and nephews and see if they want that. Um... Okay, we've got a Monsters Lego minifigure. Now, I've got a friend who collects these, um, and she's quite good at normally telling what they are without opening them. Um, so I'm not going to open mine. I'm going to see if it's one she needs, because um, her son likes to open them. But we've got that. Um, now, I'm quite pleased I've got one of these. I, this is a set that I will start collecting. Um, they're all the options. I've got most of the Horror 1 season. I'm missing Freddy and Jason, I think it is, like the two most common ones. Um, but I saw these, and again, I like these. I really... I haven't got any of this season, so I will be happy with Beetlejuice... The Crow, Pinhead, Edward Scissorhands, Cthulhu, either of the Shaun of the Dead ones, the guy from the Lost Boys. To be fair, I'd be, I would be very unlucky to get one that I have no interest in. So, let's see. Fingers crossed. I try not to destroy the box too much because I like to keep one box from each series. I'm sad like that. I am a hoarder. Right. Oh, we got a creature from the deep. I, was, I saw the green and I was like, oh, Cthulhu? Um, no, it's not. It's him. But he's still cool. He's fine. Not one of the ones that I really wanted, but he'll do. He'll do. But I like these. I might see if they've got any more I can buy. Because I'm after, after pretty much the entire set. Um, right, next we'll go for... I think this is like a, a wallet, perhaps. Uh, this will be one of their self-printed items, I reckon. Is it a wallet or is it... Might be a drinks cooler for to wrap around a can. But it's got a pinhead on it. So if I show you that... It's just a, it's just a wrap around. It will probably have it on the spoiler card what it's for. Oh, we've got another lollipop. This is another one of those ones where the the, the, the stickers are glow sticks. So I've had a couple of those. Uh, no, it doesn't actually tell me what it is. That's fine. Right. So the last thing is the T-shirt. Look at it. Okay, so it's. It's like a mixture um, between Shaun of the Dead 
and Monopoly. Although when you look at it, you can also see like Tintin. Um, and when you see the word Win Winchester, I just always think of Supernatural anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's a, I'll get up close so you can see it. So that's the t-shirt. I like the colour and it's a, it's a nice soft t-shirt. Right, that is everything in the box. So I'm just going to go through the spoiler card. Um, so it, it is a, there's a spoiler card for you to see. So the pinhead thing is a cam cooler. Uh, I'll just see if it, so the design comes from puns, punk aesthetic art. Um, and there's a, a link to their Facebook, so I'll put that in the comments. This month's t-shirt design comes from Station Jack. Each box contains this Shaun of the Dead slash Monopoly crossover t-shirt. Uh, colours may vary. Again, there's um, Facebook stuff. So the bag. Ever get that feeling when you're shopping that you're going to need a bigger bag? This shopper bag with Jaws themed design. I knew it was something. I couldn't think what it was. Um, and again, that's from punk aesthetic art um same guys who did this on the tote bag um okay so the 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 i'll get my words out in a minute the funko mini um was provided by advent avengers Man mansion um so you can get more from them on their web address is www.avengersmansion.co.uk um, and they want you to post what you got with the hashtag shabby terror um, and then obviously the minifigure and then the cute terrors which is like the lego-y type thing so I'll just put that there if anyone wants to quickly pause it and look at the stuff there we go so that was this month's shabby geek um price wise i think they're normally 25 pound a month but they keep doing offers so always keep an eye out for their offers i think they're normally you can always generally find something so always keep an eye out um i do like the t-shirt t-shirt's nice it's a good size um i've not heard of that one before Anvil is the make of the t-shirt. Um, tote bags, as I said, there's a running theme with tote bags this month, but with the shopping charge coming in, that's quite useful. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think it's normally £25 a month posted. Um, always look out for offers, though. And next month, I'm quite looking forward to next month, because it's, I think, they've, I can't remember exactly what they've called it, but I think it's like the box before Christmas, and it's got the nightmare before Christmas um, hill on it. So I'm, I'm hoping put some nightmare before christmas stuff obviously um and then i think i'm also getting the christmas box uh, as well um i've definitely got the next two i'm pretty sure i have so that was this month's shabby geek terror box um again they'll be included in the roundup of the i've got a pile of boxes currently just like developing at the bottom because normally I, I take everything upstairs I split it all between what I want to keep and what I want to either do giveaways or raffles or mystery boxes or give to the kids um, but every box has still got all the contents in for the roundup at the end of the month so uh, that's going to be fun and then I can get it all out of my living room so um, yeah sorry I've rambled on a bit I do apologise um, but yeah so that was this month's Shabby Geek um, I'll check put all their information down below go check them out um, and thanks for watching guys and fingers crossed for a quirky box of some sort next tomorrow possibly the gamer one I don't think they've posted the Disney one yet so but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye